Hey guys, I almost forgot, almost but not quite, almost forgot to turn on the microphone. How are you doing? Julian Ritnax, thanks so much for hanging out today. Hope you guys are doing pretty well. Um, today I figured um, preparing for the special event this upcoming weekend, um, wanted to revisit a couple, well wanted to use, wanted to revisit this org deck which is what I played at Madison which I think it was a good play. Um, just ended up running into a couple of bad matchups in Buzzle and then um, not drawing too well against some decks and then drawing super well against Greninja and uh, quite Koopa. Um, so yeah, Zorak like Lagenrock, I also was um, asked to feature this deck very thoroughly, so we are going to be featuring this as much as we can. I wish I could feature exactly um, Malamar matchups with this deck. However, however, uh, we don't get to choose what we play against. So the card that's below me right here is um, Mewtwo, Mewtwo from Evolutions. We have one copy of it. We have the 4 4 Zora Clan, 210 HP ability trade. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand, and if you do, you draw two cards. Then we have, uh, sorry, Righteous Beating, which deals 20 damage for every Pokemon you have in play. So up to 120 damage plus choice band 30. Um, so not too, too bad. Um, up to 150. We also have Professor Kukui to deal 170. And we have the combination of Lycan Rock GX with that um, to potentially deal 170 to finish off a game against Tapu Lele. Now, Lycan Rock GX, 200 HP, Ability Bloodthirsty Eyes, um, you get to choose a Pokemon on your opponent's bench and make it the active. Then we have uh, Dangerous Rogue GX, dealing 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, a very powerful attack. And then we have Claw Slash, dealing 110, but since we only have strong energy, it will always deal at minimum 130 damage. Now we have a combination of two 70 HP Rock Rubs because of the 70 HP and then 160 HP Rock Ruff with Corner because Corner is a great, great attack. And then we also have Buzzle, 130 HP Baby Buzzle makes an appearance in this deck because um, Sledgehammer is a really amazing attack, dealing 30 plus 90 if your opponent is exactly at four prizes. And usually you do end up losing either two Zoroas early on or the first Pokemon to go down is a Zoark or a Lycanroc perhaps, or even a Lele, so um, Sledgehammer is activated often. We have one Mew EX with its ability Versatile, which can copy Righteous Beating to knock out a Buzzle. We have Mewtwo with its Psychic Attack, which can also knock out a Buzzle as well, um, with a Choice Band and a Buzzle that's fully part up, or with Professor Kukui as well. So Kukui, the extra damage from Kukui ends up being um, decently important, I would say. And then finally we have triple top lately for setup purposes. Now in terms of support regards we have triple Bridget as expected, triple N and triple Guzma. And then one Cynthia, one Malo and one Isorla. So pretty light on the supporters. Um, hello the White Snake, thanks so much for being here. Um, pretty light on pretty light on the supporters. Um, however, it ends up working out because you have the Zoark engine to set up. Um, four Ultra Wolf, four puzzle of time to set up our Zoraks and set up and reuse any of the cards we we have. Um, triple Field Blower for anti carburetor measures, double Devo Soda for consistency purposes. Now, a lot of people prefer playing Timer Ball. I personally don't like uh, using flipping cards, so Evo Soda works just as well or sometimes better. Um, and uh, we do have Fortal Trouble to search for Lycan Rock, so we can use the ability. So that's why I'm not a big fan of Timer Ball. Um, double, double Parallel City to be disruptive, one multi-switch to make some really cool plays, uh, double choice band and single floatstone in order to um, increase our damage output and then free retreat into whatever attacker we need, and then four strong energy and four DC round out the deck. I feel like the cards are more spaced now. <laughs> I love Zoro Rock as well, Paul Semenko. I love Zoro Rock as well. So we're gonna be playing Zoroark Lycan Rock to start us off. Then we're gonna be moving on to a Zoroark Rotom deck that I feel could have some sort of impact. And then I'm gonna be playing the spread deck that we all know and love. Um, 
That's... Uh, I'm so sorry, Jedi. I have no idea why that happened. That definitely should not have happened. I mean, I don't know how many emotes you you put up. Um, let me. <laughs> that was so weird. That was actually very weird. Let me check. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, Nightbot did that. Spam protection, probably excess emotes disabled. Okay, now you can. Um, now you are free to spam emotes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try again. Now it should be good. Now it should be good. Okay, not the best starting hand. I feel like today just hasn't been a good day for Pokemon for me. Um, try again. There you go. <laughs> Nightbot is overprotective indeed. Um, hello, Alchemix. Hola, guys. Okay, so we're up against Zorg. Uh, garb, which seems to be very popular lately. Yeah, it's probably pretty okay now. I see that you guys are really big fans of the of the newer emotes, more so than the table one emotes. Okay, immediate floatstone. Okay. Oh, my opponent's gonna end. That's very kind, I think. I mean, it it's very difficult to get worse than this, right? Very, very difficult to get worse than this. And that means my opponent's hand was also not the greatest. And this is pretty good. This is honestly pretty decent. Um, dealing 40 to the Trubbish, probably not very worth it. Um, I'll do this. And then the question is, do I attach a DZ or not? Um, is this spread deck that you are showcasing later the one Rahul used at the League Cup? No, it's slightly different. Um, he played Naganadel in his list. Um, I'm not a big fan of Naganadel in this spread deck. And he said himself that Naganadel was just dead weight. So... Um, I'm going to be playing the good old spread deck as we've been using it before. Uh, what do you think the split is going to be percentage-wise of who will be playing Bozo, Malamar, and Zoark? At internets? I don't know. Out of almost 2,000 people? 20% each deck at most? That's what Rahul said, that Naganadel was dead weight. That's what he said. Um, Naganadel is there for its GX attack, but he said he never even used it. Okay, we see an Evo Soda. Okay, so there's Trash Lunch Garb, which is scary, however, not too scary yet. Uh, we do see a rainbow being attached to the garb. I'm glad that my opponent's using rainbows. And let me take note of the game, actually. This is Zorark. Oh my gosh, Zorark, Lycanroc, against Zorark, Carbiter, we don't know the result yet, and this is streaming, and this is English, although the, the language column I guess is not too relevant anymore, because I don't do Spanish content anymore, sadly, uh, gets a parallel of um, I think it's worth it to get rid of the Zerua. He also gets Garbotoxin set up as well. And decides to pass. A bit, only a bit risky. Um, I feel like I'm not even gonna play one item card. A bit risky, I could have Professor Kukui, that would be pretty amazing. Um... One item card seems okay, I guess. Um, I'd rather just thin and get this work ready. And 
you, yeah, like that's what you would think. The whole the whole point of the deck um, was to use it, uh, but he said that in the end it was useless. <laughs> And let's just do 20 more. We have no way to spread. We actually have no way to spread. <laughs> you need to take notes in Pirate, the way you, you won't lose any more Pokemon. I mean, how could I have avoided losing the Pokemon? <laughs> how could I have avoided losing the Pokemon? I don't think I could have. <laughs> I mean, it's part of the game. And I did make the game slightly more difficult. By raising the level. Hello, Sir Panish. Thanks so much for being here. Does he have choice band? You do still out of range. That's the third consecutive. No, second. Second N for our opponent. Trained better. Yep. I definitely need to grind more. Um. Uh. Come on. Get the hammer. Which sucks. <laughs> by the damage counters. Yeah, I guess that could be a good idea. Okay. I mean, the good thing is he's just not dealing enough damage. The bad thing is we just lost. Oh, okay. So he's gonna sacrifice the carb. Um, which I'm okay with. Only one item card. Um, with a DC, he does knock me out, though. With a DC, he does knock me out. Which I assume is what he's trying to get. So I actually probably won't even attack the card. Um, do only want a Mallow here? was an argument to Kuzma. So with the Mallow, I'm gonna do Field Lore and Multi-Switch? No. I mean, my opponent's plan is to attack me with, is to knock me out with Garb, then that's honestly fine. Um, I'll just do these two. Oh, wow. My other DC is prized. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think I just take the KO here. If he end, I mean, he's used up to end, so it's going to be hard for him to end me again. It's actually going to be hard for him to end me again. Not the greatest trust, though, for us. Not the greatest trust. Which has been my theme all week. I hope I'm just getting them out of the way for the special event this weekend. Place Cartana? Attaches DC, so he's just happy to deal 40 damage to a Mewtwo. I feel like my opponent is... Wait, what? Play the Guzma for Lycanroc. Okay. I am actually okay with this. Very strange um, way to play by my opponent. And I also just realized that uh, putting the Veil Lore at the top, I mean, it makes sense because I need to get the Parallel TD out, but now that Garb is out, we don't need it to reset our abilities. So the first thing I'm gonna do, yeah, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this and this. Have I heard of Franco Esmilia? No, I have not. Um, and then I know I put the DC at the top, right? So I do need to trade here. The Lele. Everything else seems pretty good. Um, okay. So Floatstone, that guy, attach here. And I'm going to bridge it for another Zerua and another Rockruff. And we ourselves are just going to... Uh, attack into the Zork, and that's only two item cards so far, so we should be good. No more parallel shenanigans, which is great. 
It is our last TC that we have available though. It is our last TC. Okay, my opponent has more traits than I do. Which is never good in the Zoar Khmer match. Franco Escamilla. It doesn't ring a bell. It generally doesn't ring a bell. Okay, and my opponent decides to just go all out against the Zorg. And this is what I don't understand. Opponent, my opponent's well, he's like trading, trade trading, playing cards and then trading. You should finish trading before playing stuff like that. And that's okay, I was not planning on attacking this Zorg. Anyway, well I could actually. I actually wouldn't mind attacking that Zorg, I think. Um, I don't have the Bloodstone. So if I do end up, if I end up getting double puzzle, I, yeah, I'm probably just gonna Kuzma, actually. Um, probably, well, I don't even need to Kuzma, actually. I didn't even need to Kuzma. That's fine. Get rid of the choice band here. Uh, that was probably not great. One, two, three, four item cards. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this guy up. And then I'm going to parallel city my opponent. And then for my next trade. Yeah, I, I should have just... <laughs> that was silly. I would love to find an energy here though. I would 100% love to find an energy. So I'm hitting for enough damage. I'm just going to trade the baby buzz. No energy for us. Um, I could evil soda into a third Zorg. That does mean one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's okay. I would love to find one of my three strongs left though. Oh, okay. I'll look, I'll look into it. I do enjoy... Um, I do enjoy stand-up comedy and stuff. And okay, so double puzzle. So I did the same thing. I didn't finish trading before I played my cards. That was silly-ish. Um, I think I'm gonna double puzzle. For a DCE. And I think a Mallow? I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, so two more item cards, but that's fine. And then I'm definitely gonna evolve here. I'm not gonna use my ability. Just wanna protect the Rockruff. I will attach and I will ride just beating 400 for the knockouts. And get the two prizes, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. There's a trash challenge, that's fine. Because even knocking out trash challenge means I go down to even prizes. Um, so it's pretty good. And to three, that's completely fine. I have triple trade now. I even got the strong. Um, so I assume my opponent's gonna double puzzle for the enhanced hammer here, if that's what he got. I mean, he must have gotten a broad double puzzle, right? He hasn't even traded, so there's no way you just play puzzle for no reason. Um, he might be tempted to grab field blower parallel as well to try and protect his carb. Uh, but no, he's actually gonna enhance Sammer and Cartana. Jeez. Okay. Um. N to four into double puzzle naturally. And he doesn't even finish trading. He doesn't even finish trading. Jeez. Okay. Okay here, so now I need my double puzzles. Um okay. So I'm gonna trade this. 
he has no more puzzles, so right? Yeah. Well, neither do I, but... Let's trade the N. And... <laughs> Hello, Dama Drummer. Um, Alchemix. And yeah, very quiet today. Alchemix, hello, thanks so much for being here. Um, <laughs> I mean, what deck out of wins puzzle? Maybe pure psychic Malmar, but not even. Um, I feel like Choice Band is discardable here. Although Multi Switch, probably more so. Um, okay. Do I even bench this? No, I think I grab Lele here. That's gonna be so many. So many item cards though. For Acerola. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. That's not ideal. And Tama Drummer, thanks so much for the 50 cheers. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so I think we just promote the Mewtwo here. The Enhanced Hammer plus Kartana was, play was pretty good, honestly. And I need to hope my opponent doesn't have Guzma plus Choice Band. That's what we need. We need my opponent to not have Guzma plus Choice Band. And hello, Benoe. Hello, Joe, bro. Eh, antes del último trade era Lele por Malo. Quizá. Probablemente sí. Para eso regresé la Malo, ¿no? Y con Malo iba por doble puzzle. Yep. Should have used Lele. Before the last trade, I should have Ultra for Lele, Lele for Malo, Malo for double puzzle. DC knockout. The thing is, I also wanted to protect the. Um... Okay, seems like Lycanroc is gonna survive here. I also wanted to protect the Zoark because if I attacked into the Garb, took one prize, and then he knocked me out, ugh, we would have been in a sketchy situation. Um, goes for a rainbow. It's fine. He goes down to three prizes. Okay, so now I a hundred percent need um, a Guzma here. Um, Tama Drummer, not 35, I might add the same coaching for 40. That's what I might do. Um, that's what I might do, Tama Drummer. Um, so a little bit higher. Um, but I might I might open up more spots for coaching because I've definitely gotten requests for it um, I don't think I'm gonna need this. I need a Guzma. I need one of my Okay, this gives me Guzma, but this also means trash challenge can knock out my garb Which might not be the end of the world honestly I just don't want to lele for the Guzma Okay, I mean, with all trouble is what I meant. Uh, no, no, you don't want to attack into the garb. You definitely don't want to attack into the garb and that um, bursting balloon. And my deck was low enough to where I knew I had all troubles, Lele's, and Kuzma's as outs. So seeing six cards, I was seeing pretty much half my deck. Um, Yeah, well, okay, yeah, blower. That's true. <laughs> Lower also works. Um, this is definitely better, I think. I don't know. Maybe knocking out the guard was better. Yeah, because then how does he deal with like a rock? Yeah, probably better to, to, to GX this guy. Probably. I don't know. Um, we didn't play any item cards, so he still needs to find Kuzma. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, we did play an item card? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which item? I didn't play any item card. 
So we had 10? I counted wrong? Or did I trade an item card? <laughs> yeah, I'll look into it, Tama Drummer. Either opening more spaces or... Or... Or adding just a little bit higher. Um, but okay. I mean, now we have to win against the card. Uh, probably not played super optimally. Uh, yeah, probably not played super optimally. But oh well. Alan, thank you so much for subscribing two months in a row. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. Okay. Um, so yeah. Maybe promoting the Lycan Rock, taking out the Garb. Uh, it would have saved my... No, I, it would have used up my GX and then I still had to take two prizes. Um, all I needed then was Guzma, DC... Um, well, no, Guzma, DC would not have been enough because I still would have needed to retreat. Um... I don't know. It was it was gonna be a weird close to the series, I think. Um, yeah, no end was fortunate. We're up against Pedro. We are actually up against Pedro, who seems like he's playing Buzzle. Seems like he's playing Buzzle. And starts the Latios, interesting. And it's a mirror match. It is actually a mirror match. Okay, he has four cards in hand. I think I have to... If this was corner... Oh my god. If this was corner Rockruff, we would be in an incredible position. Um, I mean, okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I just pass here. What are the chances that he has Zoark Lele into Malo? Um, okay. Just, I'm gonna have to do it this way, I think. Yeah, let's set up, I guess. I guess. <laughs> um, a rock being active is actually potentially useful. Um, if that rock rough was corner, I would have a hundred percent, a hundred percent, um, gone Lele DC knock out the rock rough. A hundred percent, and okay. So we'll see. Oh my gosh. And I prized two Zorks in the mirror match. Oh, that's so sad. That is actually so, so sad. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go Rockruff. Because I might, like if this guy goes down, which I'm hoping he, it won't. But if this guy goes down, then... See, the thing is, if he pinches another Rockruff and attaches another energy to it, then my Lycan Rock is just not great. It was risky, I know, but uh, if he has slow stone, we, if he has slow stone, DC like and rock, we we lose. Si, tienes toda la razón, Kevin. Tienes toda la razón. Okay, there's the Lele. There is the Lele. For Malo, oh my gosh, he did have it. That's crazy. Just naturally, they have everything every time. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my gosh. The per the absolute perfect start. The absolute perfect start. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> he 
he, he even has an extra... He even gets rid of the Lycan rock. Wait. Oh, yeah. <sighs> How do you even, like... Oh, well. Whatever. Perfect hands. I wish I run like that. Okay. So let's bring up the Lycan Rock. Let's smack it. We're probably gonna lose the Lele as well, but Ooh, choice band <laughs> Why? Why? Why do I think we're into nothing? Uh, I've, I've, I generally have not been in the best mood to play Pokemon the past few days. I really haven't. And when I try to test on my own, I get <laughs> the one of copy. The one of copy. Just immediately. Why not? Just immediately in hand. Okay. The end hopefully helps us. Yeah, the end helps us for sure. The end helps us for sure. Uh, yeah, between my tournament results for the past six months and then like how I'm drawing at tournaments and stuff, I am generally not at my best in Pokemon. Mentally, emotionally, not at my best. It's like Triple Zork versus no Zork. Eh, no, Kevin, tienes que atacar a Lycan Rock. Si no ataco a Lycan Rock, eh, pierdo. Tendría un Zork menos, pero habría un Lycan Rock completamente nuevo. Oh my gosh. He has the Rock Graph, he has the energy to attach. No, okay, no energy, that's good. And he whiffed the energy, but he got the multi switch, so that's pretty good. We have a chance here. We have a chance. We need to find enough basics to have a chance here. So let's end him down to three. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, let's end him down to three. I need a full bench. So I need to draw. I need to draw a basic Pokemon off of these trades. Otherwise, I am done for. Or a choice band. That also works. Okay. So we have it. We have the two Pokemon. It might cost us our whole hand, but we have the knockouts. Okay. And we got Baby Buzz. We also have the multi switch. So things are actually looking fine here. We might just be able to recover. This really sucks, though. I'm gonna grab Layla. Uh, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna grab Lele. And I'm gonna have Mallow, I think. Take the Mallow already. Yeah, take the Mallow. That way I can do what he did multi switch, knock out a Zorg. Um, whew, okay, so we're still in it. We are still still in it in this mirror match and we get the strong so we won't have to mallow for it um zorg like and rock against pedro okay so we see an ultra ball probably gonna see lele for n he doesn't have mallow anymore right we might be able to come back here after that horrible, horrible start. We might actually be able to make a comeback here. Grab Zerua, okay. So what's his supporter? Sycamore? Yep, okay. We're still in an advantageous position. <laughs> Where's the Clovers? Yeah. <laughs> Azul, thank you so much for the host. 
Thank you so much for the host, Azul. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Um, it's life's good, yeah, Alexis. Um, Pokemon wise, I've been on a pretty big slump. Oh my gosh, he finds it, he finds it. He finds the one of copy. Okay. And Coiler, thank you so much. Or Coiler, Coiler, how do you pronounce that? Coiler 13, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, he found the Enhanced Hammer. He had the Sycamore, he found the Enhanced Hammer. So. What do I even do here? Do I... Do I take a prize on the Rockruff? Or do I take a prize on the... I mean, on the Rockruff or on the Zerua? <laughs> I feel like I take down the Rockruff. So let's trade first. I'm gonna trade this, Cynthia. Just compare his hand size plus his deck to my hand size plus the deck. Um, I'm not gonna Zerua this turn. N, N is also not, I have to Guzma this turn. I 100% have to Guzma. Um, and if he goes after my Zorak, then so be it, I think. Drewski, thanks so much for the follow. <laughs> what is this? I also had two Zorua prize, so we were at a disadvantage since the game started. Um... Okay. I assume. Yeah. He's gonna double puzzle. He hasn't played any puzzles. Along everything, he's only lost one puzzle. So he's 100% going to double puzzle for the enhanced hammer this turn. And deny my multi switch play. 100% he's going to do that. <sighs> no. No, no comeback time. Absolutely no comeback time. Pedro hasn't whiffed any turn. Ever since turn two, he's had exactly everything. <laughs> uh, Boomazon, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Maybe I should have kept the Israel. Except for that one energy drop, yeah, for that one energy drop. That's true. Um, but you can play the open Alchemix and just being at Worlds is pretty fun. Honestly, just being at Worlds is generally pretty fun. Okay, so we're gonna see an N here. No, an Acerola. Interesting. Well, he really wants the double puzzle, of course. He knows he needs double puzzle. He knows he needs double puzzle. Kuzma. Jeez. He's 10 short, though. He discarded a Mewtwo. Oh, he has a choice man. Okay, never mind. Oh, come on. Oh my god. He did get it. Yeah, of course he did get it. <laughs> <sighs> I give up. Of course he got it. Hey, hola, Henry. There's a way. There's a way I can. I have only one Zorark, that's so dumb. <laughs> like, I'm already running worse. 
I prized to Zer was, and I still have a chance. He just needs to whiff one thing. Any given turn, he needed to win with once, but no. Okay, the only way I can win here is if I trade my one trade. If this one trade gets me um, gets me the second Lycan Rock, which it doesn't. Um, <sighs> so never mind. You discard this Rua here. That's a mistake. You actually discard this Rua. You actually discard this Rua there. Because if I get the Lycan Rock off of this N23, which I won't, um, I could knock that guy out and then next turn to the multi switch play, which he's been able to prevent every single time. Let's triple trade against zero trades. So now all he needs is Guzma, of which he's played two off. <laughs> I could have mallowed for the Lycan Rock, but then he has 20 cards in his hand. He's down to one prize card. If I mallow for the Lycan Rock, I immediately lose. Because he just takes down the puzzle. Uh, Zorak Lycan -like Rock is definitely not a viable deck in the format. Definitely not a viable deck in the format right now. Discard my own Rock Rock. <laughs> oh my. I mean. <laughs> Welcome for my son. I mean. <sighs> what can you do? CG to Pedro. I mean, <laughs> if you run harder in the mirror, that's what it takes to win, right? That's what it takes to win. I need him to win once. Just once. He had three cards in hand. I needed him to not hit the enhanced hammer. He hit it. He had four cards in hand after turn one. I needed him to not have Zork Mallow. He had it. I mean, Zorg, Lele, he had it. It's like, what are we going to do? Um, okay. Yeah, so Bravery Buzz. There's too much buzz indeed for this deck to even be remotely viable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just look at this hand. bother going to a special event this weekend do I even bother going to a special event this weekend <laughs> eh, Kevin si sí, este deck ganó un evento especial en Francia What's the what's a jukebox, JSP? Oh, a uh, music thing. Um, I mean, I have Pokemon music. Um, Jeremy. I mean, <laughs> I trust me. I do enjoy the game. It's just I get very frustrated and this is 100% like my life right now depends on Pokemon right I rely on Pokemon streaming on Pokemon coaching etc um, and I know there are things that are completely out of my control right I I know that I know that um, 
It's just think about the think about the previous game. Just the just think about the previous game and how things worked out for me. Um, in the previous game, we were running the exact same deck, the same sixty cards, and. And the match is not decided or is solely decided by the fact that A, I lost the coin flip and B, I had two prize Aruas and C, um, Pedro had everything he needed every single turn. This game, I discard. Turn one, this is my hand. Sycamore discard triple puzzle and the lichen rock like how how do i even deal with that and i didn't even check um i didn't even check if the lichen rock was bright <laughs> it is bright <laughs> the other lichen rock is bright it's like i am running so below average that it has affected me it has affected me emotionally it has affected me um psychologically has affected me to the point where i don't know i am as you mentioned perhaps not enjoying the game as much because it's very frustrating when i know i can make the right decisions i know i can make better decisions than a lot of players but then things that are, that are out of my control do not let me um, take advantage of that no all of this no matter how how good you are or how good your decision making is um, it's just there are things that prevent you from winning I know it's out of my control yeah I know I can control my attitude um, give me one second guys I know I can control my attitude but it's not something that has been happening for the last week it's if you look at my tournament results if you look at my tournament performances it's been six constant months of things like that. And that has gotten to me. That has 100% gotten to me. 100%. So that's like, that's real talk. Um, that's probably why you guys have seen me complain way more than usual <laughs> on streams. That's why you guys um, are perceiving that I'm not enjoying the game as much. That is 100%. And I, I try to remain positive and um, like during coaching sessions and everything, I always try to remain positive. I try to give my best every single time. But my tournament results and the way I've been running, like I understand logically that it's a slump. I understand logically that it is a slump and that it's variance. But six months in a row has definitely gotten to me. That's real talk. Um, that's real talk. I also haven't had, as you guys say, I haven't had one weekend off um, from tournaments since April began. Um, every weekend I have been to a tournament and then every weekend I have been to a tournament and I haven't done well at any of those tournaments. So that definitely gets to you. Um, I don't want to I don't want to blame the format I don't want to blame like I don't want to make excuses right I know I'm running under average as you guys have seen from like my previous the two previous games enlighten exactly what I mean under average right being objective I've been running under average based on that um, I know it's a slump, I know it's completely variance and randomness, but six months of that has gotten to me. And those kinds of hands, they're not PTCGO hands. They're hands that I constantly get in tournaments, which lead to my zero results 
Uh, ever since 2018 started, that has been my story. So, so yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, Tama Drummer. Thank you. I remember Queendom. Yes, Jeremy, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. Um, you are <laughs> two Zorax price. Uh, you are a hundred percent right. And trust me, I am. Every day, I'm very thankful that I don't have to go to an office, that I don't have to do anything chemical engineering related. I'm very thankful of each and every one of you that is currently here. Um, and I have on and off days also. That's also true. I have on and off days. Um, at a McDonald, thanks so much for the follow. Um, thank you guys, and I appreciate the kind words of support. I really do. I really, really do. Um, I think I'm gonna promote the Necrozma so that he can't um, attach into it. Uh, yeah, I'll end. <laughs> and thank you guys. Thank you. And like, I know how. I know a how um, how lucky I am that I can do this. Um, I know how lucky I am that I can do this, and it's something I definitely don't take for granted. And that's why I'm still here. Like, if I really, um, if I really just wanted to not have anything to do with Pokemon, I would take a break. I would just say, you know what? There's gonna be no streams. There's gonna be no coaching. I'm just gonna take a week off. Um, or two, I need the break, and I think that break is coming. After an AC, the break is coming. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, Tama Drummer. Thank you. That's very kind. And like, in the beginning of this season, it felt like I could day two with my eyes closed. It generally felt like I could day two with my eyes closed. Uh, my confidence was at an all-time high. My results were reflective of that. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed in 2018. Um, I don't know what's happened. Um, I even thought about going to a psychiatrist. Um, there are also a lot of things that happen in life that take out, take... Um, <laughs> thank you, Bill Mason. Thank you. There are also things that happen in life that take, um, take precedence, take priority. Um, affect your state of mind, etc. Right? Um, so it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, like after I won the League Cup in Cancun, I was ecstatic and I was like, okay, I still have this. I need to, I need to keep doing. And I've been doing like a tournament. I've been doing, I've been getting a result. Right? Like I'm still getting championship points. I'm still up there in the rankings. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Alchemix. Um, <laughs> Gracias, ALB. Estoy diciendo que te, he pasado, estoy pasando por un por una situación difícil, ¿no? En donde mis resultados, pues sí me están afectando. And yeah, I know, I know, I need to have more fun. I know I need to like focus on the more positive aspect positive things rather um but yeah like i think a lot of a lot i think something that a lot of people also don't understand when they when they see me like this is that this is no longer a game for me this is this is my life like my life literally depends on pokemon uh, it's thanks to you guys um <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It's thanks to you guys that I can do what I do. And I will forever, forever be thankful for that. Forever. I, I swear to you, I will forever be thankful for you. And that's why I will always be here. Um, Pokedex coming on Friday. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I generally think going to a, to a therapist is my my next best bet as of right now. I think that's probably going to be my my next play, if you will. Um, 
and USPS, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. That's very kind of you. Love to New York as well. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Like this, this is this is this definitely makes me think. Like, okay, Pablo, you're look at like take a look at this, right? It's like a tournament result doesn't define me as a person, right? A tournament result doesn't define me as a person. It doesn't define table one. Yeah, table one has a certain prestige because I've done well at tournaments historically um, and I mean I was at this point the white snake thank you so much for the bits um, thank you so so much and like for example last season right last season I had terrible results I, I only had two good results I had um, Australia and then I had worlds yeah those were the only two results I had last season um, and then uh, this season I started off super strong and now I'm in this slump, right? Um, so I, I objectively know it's ups and downs. Yeah, <laughs> thank you guys, thank you. This is very kind of you to say thank you guys so so much. Um, okay, I feel like my opponent's better play here would have been to GX with Necrozma because that leaves everything in range of like Tapu Lele, even Oranguru. Um, he could have been a little bit more cost effective if you will um, he takes that price card I do have the whole puzzle for Lele for Guzma so I think my place to Guzma knock out the Necrozma I think that's it and yeah like re remember at the beginning of the season like it generally felt like I could day two um, with my eyes closed and that was incredible um, I hope I can get back to that point and I will get to back to that point eventually like my mind understands it's a slump um, it's just after six months of the slump my mind has gotten a bit weaker in that regard um, eh, más meme deck podría ser buena idea también um, yeah like I, I know Tablemon and Pablo Mesa is not um, okay. Uh, I <laughs> I don't know if my Lele is there. I don't know if my Lele is priced or not. See, this is something I should be doing. I I the slump has made me less careful in a sense. Um, and maybe that's showing in my real life tournaments and then that makes everything worse, right? Like I'm stuck in this downward spiral. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. And I, I assure you guys, I will get back to that. I will. Um, like, I think that also, like that state of mind um, also reflects on my physical appearance. And if you, if you see the videos from a year ago and you see me now, um, I have gained a lot of weight. I have gained um, almost a little bit more than 30 pounds. So this week I started running every day. I've been going to the gym. Well, last week, I mean, last week I went running and to the gym um, five out of seven days. So that's a good step forward. Like I used to do that a year ago when I was in a really good position. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm cute but I'm fluffy right now and I want to be cute but less fluffy um, <laughs> butter boo, butter Bob thank you so much for the bits um, so yeah like I think that was a good step forward and okay I really wanna wanna be more healthy more positive towards myself so that's why I'm running now oh my gosh this Mewtwo is very scary um we might oh no we can't all puzzle for it. yeah we need mallow now we need mallow i actually enjoy <laughs> i actually enjoy going to the gym um i do not have a running partner no um i do not have a running partner um i think i work better off of goals so my goal is to get back to running 10k um, I did that a year ago um, I did that a year ago and I want to get back to that point that's a big motivation for me um, and I, I used to really like I used to really 
go hard at the gym and I used to be able to lift I used to be able to squat um, 225 no 315 pounds I used to be able to squat 315 pounds um, so yeah eating better doing more exercise like taking care of myself will help me uh, and being like more positive towards myself will mean that I'm more positive towards uh, what people see right um, <laughs> Muchas gracias, Kaiser. <laughs> like the Kaiser que ha muerto dos veces. <laughs> Kaiser just sent a very cool, a very nice message, and he was just saying that um, uh, he's that come like that positive message comes from someone who has died twice in the po in the Nuzlocke series. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think I'm gonna be needing choice band. No, I will need choice band. I think I need to go after. No, I won't need choice band. I think I should go after the Lele. If I if everything fails here, if I don't get the Mew, oh my gosh, I did get the Mew. Okay, so we're starting to run good here, guys. We're starting to run good. Oh, if I hadn't discarded the choice, well, I can still do it. But if I hadn't discarded the choice band, I could have. Uh, knocked out with Mewtwo, which is not the case because it's Bryce, so never mind. Uh, but yeah, we we managed to get there. We managed to get there. Um, no, and like I assure you guys, this is helping. This is like this is very nice. <laughs> this is very nice. Um, I was not even uh, going to stream today because I was feeling down. Uh, but yeah, like this is this is 100% uh, transparent, Pablo, and I'm glad you brought this up, Jeremy. Like that allowed me to like open up. Um, so thank you. Um, but yeah, this is 100% transparent, Pablo Meza. 100% um, transparent, Pablo Meza, um, and I try to give my best every day. That that much I I'm. I'm clear on I try to give the best that I can every day some days my best is not as best as other days yeah and that's a reality and I think that's just because I'm a human being right we all have good days we all have um, bad days and no I'm really glad you said it Jeremy thank you I'm really glad you said it um, so yeah sometimes you have good days sometimes you have bad days um, it happens right um okay all we need to do to win is knock out that tapu lele and this was psychic um this is this is not ultra necrozma this is just necrozma malamar wait i lost no okay i lost the previous game and this is uh, necrozma malamar and i think we're going to win i'm gonna re i'm gonna be positive and i'm gonna record this as i win um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for the for the nice words and the and the support and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, <laughs> and that's okay. Like that, I mean, what you guys see on Tablemon is like five percent, um, right? <laughs> you are our seeking. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, the Tablemon community is really the best. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, like. You guys get to see like 5% of my whole life, right? There's a whole lot of other things that you guys don't get to see that definitely affect me, right? And now it's the fact that... Um, now it's the fact that the results have also not been cooperating that much. Um, but thank you, Bill Mason. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I do think that in, on any given day, I, I can beat absolutely anyone i just need the cards to cooperate and then my my mind does the rest literally my mind does the rest um but the cards just haven't been cooperating lately and objectively speaking i understand that there's variance and i'm on a, on the lower side of variance and eventually like i was in the beginning of the season i'll be back on the other side of variance um I did not notice I was playing against Tamao, actually. <laughs> I did not notice I was playing against Tamao from the UK. Um, it might be Tamao or it might be his girlfriend, I think. 
Um, we have the win here, right? We just double puzzle for DC, a basic, and knock out the Lele? Uh, no, no, no. Um, Jeremy, I've, I've definitely made it so that, no, that would be a, a whole other level of stress. Um, right now, um, right now my life is set up in the way that any good result at a tournament, like any monetary achievement at a tournament is extra. Like I definitely don't depend on that because that would be, that would be unnecessarily risky. That would be foolish, I think, um, to rely on tournament winnings. Because everyone has slumps, right? Um, like take Azul for example. Azul in the beginning of the season, he was doing well but not exceptionally well. And now he's doing exceptionally well. And then he has some off days where his tournament results also fail. So it happens to everyone. I just feel like all my good tournament results accumulated to a small amount of time. <laughs> like I won Vancouver, then I was day doing uh, two or three more regionals. And then I got third at Memphis. And then after that it went downhill. Um, and yeah, <laughs> there we go. Um, Tableman was a leader in the PTCGO League. I have no idea what the PTCGO League is. Um, uh, no, I have not talked um, uh, to Azul about that. I did talk to Igor about that a little bit, actually. And yeah, Igor, Igor is just on a whole other level. I think Igor to me is the best player in the world. Igor and Tord are probably the best players in the world, in my eyes. Followed closely by Azul and maybe Pramawat. Um, so yeah, um, that will be all for Zorak Like and Rock Eyes, but if you're watching, don't go anywhere. I want to try out this um, Zorak Rotom deck, okay? So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back in just a second. I just need to... Uh, do the other screen and open up the deck so I know where to cut the video. Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TC Worlds 2018. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching with me on Twitch, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, is Igor Costa a professional poker player? He He's not, but I'm pretty sure he's about to be. Um, uh, yeah, Rayquaza GX winning Japan is going to be pretty cool. I, I'm really excited to start making Rayquaza GX and Celestial Storm videos when the, when we get the new set. Um, yeah, that's true, Bird Boy. Um, it's sometimes hard to distinguish. Um, and yeah, um, it's, this is something new that I want to try. Um, I forgot to go get some water. Uh, when I was switching so give me one second guys. I'm gonna go get some water and I'll be right back <laughs> 